guys, Crescent Moon. I told you I was gonna do, <laughs> you just gonna have to work around it. Um, I told you I was gonna go over uh, my candle process, and I apologize about my hair, but the back of my head was starting to hurt from having it up all day, and it doesn't, it doesn't look like a lot, but it's really super thick, and eventually the back of my head start hurting, starts hurting, and it, I gotta let it down. So, this is my witchy hair today. Anyway, um, this is what I ended up with. This is the working candle that I ended up with, and I hope you can see it, because it's kind of, the lighting in here is really freaking horrible. That's not good, that's not good. Okay, there's the husband on the couch. What, dear? Oh, you need a fork. Okay, well, so, <clears throat> this is what I came up with, and it's a soy candle, and I just colored it. Well, I'm going to go over what I put in it and what I did to it, but this is my working candle for Hecate and my altar space in general. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I did is, let's see, I used soy wax and hemp wick and dragon's blood which I did the video on that yesterday and my mother came down today like I you know I told you that too and she brought me a electric coffee grinder so for all you guys that suggested I get a coffee grinder mom listened <laughs> and she actually suggested it too but I just thought that was cool look at my little skull man oh he's so pretty and it's purple and I'm calling it a boy go figure um so what I did was as the max the max was welting the wax was melting i um kind of say a i put some intention into it for what its purpose is going to be i go over thoroughly how i want it to work what my objectives are what my intentions are which are pretty much the same thing as object objectives we just ate dinner now i've got indigestion um and then, you know, I also said in the other video that I tend to, whatever comes to me is what I do. Because I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. So, I already knew I was going to use graveyard dirt here from the big box. And it's very, very fine. And it sinks to the bottom. It does not float. So, there's a quite a bit of... And you can't really feel it. Well, you couldn't feel it anyway. But even in the other ones that have it in there, you can't really feel it. You can see it at the bottom, though. You can see. You're not going to be able to see that. Well, you can kind of see the sandy type. This camera sucks. The, sand, the sandy type texture compared to the side. So, okay. And then on this one, same deal. You can kind of see it in here. It goes to the bottom. And Lady Grave Dancer said she puts hers in the bottom, and now I see why. Lesson learned. Check. Um, but <sighs> Dragon's Blood and uh, Graveyard Dirt were the main elements. So, and I wasn't going to color it, but I really wanted to color it. So I colored it. And I'm not real happy about it. Kind of like this hair situation. It looks like just got a giant knot right there. But I don't. It's just the way my hair is. Anyway. Y'all gonna have to deal with it today. Because my head hurts. Look at that. Okay. Anyway. Getting off topic. Um. So. What I ended up doing. Is. I ended up putting. Uh. Cinnamon stick. Broken up. I didn't crush it. But I broke it up. And then. Rosemary, which I'm almost out. I gotta get more of that. Clove. So I'm using these in just about everything right now. Because it is that time of year and I love the smell. Clove. Alright. And then all those rose buds or rose petals that I had laid out long ago, they're all in here. So I took these out and pulled them apart. And I think that's it. I think that's the only herbs that I put in here. And because of Dragon's Blood, 
And it could just be my nose because I work around poop all day. Poop and pee. So the ammonia tends to mess with your nose a little bit. I can smell some other stuff that's really strange. Like I have like one of those psychic noses, but when it comes to like smell, at least when I'm trying to smell something, I can't freaking smell it. And it could be because I burn incense all day and then I've got this other stuff going on. Anyway, so I added some actual dragon's blood oil to it. So, and you see how much red I had to use. I'll, I probably won't ever buy this brand of colorant again because it just, you have to use half. I've only used this twice, and this is how much I had to get to just get to the color that it is today. So, I'm not real happy about that. But it, it's pretty, so it's okay. Um, the... That is a bad one. That's the one the wick shifted in. That's that. This is the schmuck candle. See that? It's all the way over to the side, which is really my fault, but I'm going to blame it on the candle, too. Because that's the only one that did that. Everything else is pretty centered. You know what I'm saying? Um, and this one has graveyard dirt and dragon's blood powder on top, and I added blue to the red to make a deep, dark, purpley color, and I've got to clean up the bottoms, which I bought some tools to do that with. And then the first batch, these are really pretty, and I like them. They turned out really pretty. It's kind of a funky colored pink, and I didn't add any dye. I think... I know how this happened. Uh, it's basically residue from another can. Well, when I made this one, oh, this you. one, there was like a little bit left in the um, uh, pot. And I just went ahead and threw it in there. So it came out with like a pinky-ish, pinky-ish color. So, and then I just made some plain ones with sand uh graveyard dirt so and these have rosemary and stuff in them too but not they're not as pretty i mean they're pretty but they're not decorative which this is the first time i've ever tried to do one of the drippy candles and it's you know it looks okay i like them they turned out okay but you know with every ingredient you put your focus and your intention into it and i just kept feeling well that's not enough i need to do this or I, I have, you know what? I need rosemary, and so I'd go get rosemary or the rose petals or, you know. They can see you in the video, by the way. You might as well, yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's my husband. Um. Anyway. So, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, anyway, that's what I used. I um, clove, rosemary, dragon's blood, graveyard dirt, hemp wick, which that's optional, obviously. Uh, I like it, but apparently so does my dog. This is the second time that she's gotten it, and this time... It was on the kitchen counter, not just the table. And I know she can get up on the table, but apparently she's figured out how to get up on the counter, too. Or the cat and her are working together. One of the two. But cinnamon, rosemary, dragon's blood, graveyard dirt, dragon's blood, oil, rose petals, and clove are everything that I put into my working candle. And a lot of it's on top, and most of it... Are good. Oh, you know what else I put in? It's inside, too. Um, I put in... And I can't remember the name of this stone. Azurite. Shoot, I meant to look that up. Anyway, you, you might know what it is by looking at it. And I used a lot. Oh, you're not going to be able to see it. Uh, where is the camera? There it is. Okay. It's this. Please focus. Uh, it's not Azurite. I don't think it's Azurite. I can't remember. Please focus. Okay, well, hmm, there you go, that's, it's this, and it's really pretty, and I just have little chips of it, and that's actually all I have left out of this little, this little vial, these people above me are heavy footed, anyway, <coughs> 
then the coughing. That's just crazy in here. And then I used um, a good decent amount of, oh, that, look at that, that's pretty, of garnet. Because that's just the color that she said to use, so that's what I did. No shame in my game. I do what I'm told. Sometimes, most of the time. I'm not real good at following directions. And as Hecate, I, I kind of have like an authority issue, so me and Hecate, <clears throat> we figure it out. But that's my, that's my goddess, and I wouldn't trade her for the world. I work with Fre uh, Freya too, but more in tune with Hecate, and I really just have the two, Freya and Hecate. I haven't, I don't have a third or fourth, fifth, sixth, eighth, tenth rotating schedule. I really just work with those two because that's who I was drawn to, and I feel, I feel I represent them well, and vice versa. So, upon a lot of research, it works pretty well together. So, I say so and whatever a lot. And anyway, sorry, I don't. I don't know. Uh, and I was about to say anyway. Um, that is all. And I'm sorry. I'm kind of like it's the end of the day. I'm kind of tired, and I'm kind of tired. <laughs> so say so a lot and even though I've noticed that I'm saying it I'm still freaking saying it which is even more annoying than when I'm trying not to say it because that gets on my nerves too I'm ending this video before I ramble anymore but I wanted to show you what I did today and this is the lot minus the schmuck candle because it's it's been exiled but this is what I did today and these should last a while and I did add a little touch of dragon's blood oil on the top of some of these and I don't know why I just did I just did so anywho the washer has stopped the child is playing what are you playing uh, black, ops 2. black ops 2 zombies no, online multiplayer. oh online multiplayer and uh, the hubby hubby is waiting on me to go outside and have a smoke and then we're going to watch Shameless because we're trying to get through Shameless because Penny Dreadful Season 3 just came on Netflix and I am freaking trying to plow through Shameless to get to Penny Dreadful because I couldn't just leave Shameless where it is. I'd be pissed. But I'm super excited about Penny Dreadful. I also am wanting to watch the next season of Peaky Blinders and... There was another one. What was that other show we were watching? I don't remember. <sighs> useless. Um, not useless. He just, he can't think right now. He just got off work. Um, <clears throat> anyway, that's another discussion. What do y'all watch? You watch wishy, wi wishy shows? Wishy shows? Witchy shows, because I do most of the time. Another discussion topic. Anyway. Y'all have a good night. Love you all, and blessed be, and I hope that y'all have a great Friday. I have to go to work, and then I have to work Saturday, so I don't get the TGIF crap that everybody else says. But it's cool, because I get Sundays off, and that's family day most of the time. All right. Bye-bye.